So, hello, welcome everyone to uh, the stream. I'm just going to be practicing a uh, speed run of Mountain of Faith here. I'd like to get this at a point where I can uh, perform at GDQ on stage. That'd be a dream come true. We'll, we'll just say that. Uh, after, a watching, uh, after a week of watching games done quick, it brought back that spark in you, didn't it? Uh, pretty much, yeah. So I'm basically just going to be focusing a little bit on the on the game, but if anyone ever has any questions, just uh, feel free to ask. I'm probably not going to be focusing that hard. I'm also giving myself a, <clears throat> a bit of a handicap here as I'm playing this windowed mode instead of full screen. Well, I will try and keep the commentary to a minimum and only... Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Well, that's good, because I got a leg. I've got the twitch yeah. leg, so... Kind of a shame you don't get to hear the awesome music. That's the biggest... Like, the biggest reason why I don't mind playing this game over and over and over, the music is just amazing. So, since I'm probably going to die on this particular stage, I've already died twice on the intro stage, and that should not happen. So, since I have a lot, a lot more difficult of a time on the third, second stage here, I'm probably going to die here. Well, since you're just practicing... Oh, yeah. Fun. So is it the, just the music that makes Toho so very different from... Uh, it's more than just the music. Um, you remember watching the, uh, the bullet hell on, at GDQ? You remember how that yeah. was just an absolute... Um, cacophony of bullets. Oh, yeah. Oh, With yeah. Toho, there's a lot more grace in the ba in the bullet patterns. I mean, I'll let this ba this bullet pattern go for a little bit. Isn't this just so much nicer to look at? In yeah, a lot of bullet hells in Toho in particular mm -hmm. are just gorgeous. There's also I don't have this game English with an English patch, which is kind of a shame. Because the interactions of the playable characters with the uh, the bosses is just so much fun. Um, the character I'm playing with in particular, um, at one point one of the bosses asks, are you actually human? And her response is, well, I've memorized all the digits of pi and, and only humans do that, so obviously I'm human. It's like, what? No. <laughs> that, that 
No, you're, you you seem to be um, missing a grasp of logic. <laughs> and here we have a mid boss that shows up and immediately goes, "Oh, human!" and run, flies off, and your character just goes, "Wait, what?" The other thing that I like about the Toho series, the games, it, all the games feel different enough to each other that it, it's not like you're just playing the same game over and over in the series. Yeah, I'm just going to bomb through that. Um, with each of the games, there's a new mechanic that's added, or um, some of the gameplay has been changed up. Oh my, I am really having a problem with Twitch really? tonight. Is it just not cooperating for you, or...? I think it just can't keep up with Toho. That's... a bit of a feat. <laughs> Is it, um... Is it lagging, or is it...? Yeah, it, uh... Well, lag, it's always lagging. But all I'm watching is the little circle all the time. It, I'll get a few frames, and then it goes right back into Oof. that circle. That's... And I've, tried, I've tried switching to uh, the browser out of the uh, Twitch app. Hmm. I just checked my, um, my, just checked OBS, it's, I've only had, um, like, 2% frames dropped, so it's... It's not a problem with... Well, if Siobhan is not having, not seeing the same problem, then... Oh, is Siobhan in the stream right now? I think oh. she was for a little bit. And she didn't say hi. Well, I tell you what. Hi, Siobhan! Welcome Hello! To Welcome to the stream! I will say this about um, this particular speedrun. If everything goes well, it's a 15 minute speedrun. It's a 15 minute interval. Oh man, my Twitch app chest is having a bear of a time. It's either dropping frames or I'm back to the to the circle again. Oh, it's all right. I did not want to have to use that so quickly, but I'm alive on the final attack, final spell card. 
<sighs> Stage four is just brutal. Yeah, that was not happening. Boy, I am just having a uh, That's alright. Okay, short break. Then we'll get right back into it. <clears throat> I think there was an arc update, and I wonder if Steam kicked that uh, off. There was an arc update. Sadly, um, it my computer couldn't um, install it because my uh, card is full. My uh, the one spot of games allowed for on my uh, computer is full, so I don't even have enough room to install the update of Arc. to remind me so that I can remove the uh, one terabyte drive and loan it to you and start uh, moving some stuff off the drive. Oh, what a, how are we? Oh, it's alright. I mean, it does mean I get... It does force me to go through and get, say, do I really need to hold on to these games? Do I... Uh, Am I still playing it? You know, the biggest thing I'm sad about for this, uh, <laughs> The speedrun, the uh, music of the first boss is just so fun and energetic, and right as it starts getting going, you beat the boss. And so, you, you don't even get one loop of the music. Just one of those, aww. Do I, do I really have to beat the boss this quickly? I mean, I know it's a speedrun, but... There are. Wow, playing in windowed mode is... hard. How did I not get hit there? No, this is good practice. Also... At the point where I've been playing the uh, game enough that I'm starting to to memorize uh, how long particular enemy waves last based on the music. I have sound cues. <laughs> oh no, not sound cues. As opposed to song cues or audio cues. I, I don't think you want me to um, to start singing any of these. Now, do you hit a key and then it auto collects? No, there's two methods of collecting items. Um, the first is when I use a bomb. Um, Bombs will do uh, a few different things. First, the biggest thing is they shoot out that big old circle from my character that um, converts any bullet in that circle, inside that circle, into points. 
It also automatically collects any collectibles like the power or point items that are on on screen or just below, uh, just off of screen. Um, just because something has fallen off screen doesn't necessarily mean it's gone just yet. It, it's got a little bit of a grace period. Uh, the other method, though, is there is a certain line across the top of the screen. Once I cross that line, it automatically collects all of the, uh, all of the things. Um, also, the higher up you are on the screen, the more point items are worth, which are the blue squares. So, sometimes it's advantageous to uh, play towards the top of the screen. It gets you uh, items, gets you more points, and conversely gets you um, more uh, lives faster because you do get li extra lives for having more uh, a higher score. Um, the downside is if you're towards the top of the screen, well that's where most of the enemies show up. Some of them just spawn in and enemies do have hitboxes. So when you do speedrun, you're playing what would it be? Uh, any percent? Um, Just trying to get through the game as fast as you can? With Toho, there's not really an any percent. That would imply that there's multiple um, that there's multiple collectibles to grab. Or multiple endings. There aren't. It's... Toho speedruns are categorized... I don't want to grab any of those are categorized by the character and um, and bullet uh, shot type. Um, each of the characters you can play as have three different um, attack patterns that they can use. With Marissa, um, shot type B, which is what I've got, are the lasers. She's also got magic missiles, which are also absolutely devastating. Oops. Saw that. Imagine a magician with magic I know, glasses. right? Um, I don't remember what her third shot type is. And I probably won't remember until I actually play him. So you either play this game for highest score? For highest score, or just beating the game um, in the fastest, fastest time. time. Um, and you've got different um, characters that you can also play as. Uh, Marissa and Remo. So this one's your she is my favorite character. She's also, in this game, the fastest. By far. Um, once I managed to beat the game with the uh, with this particular setup, I'll play one of her other um, one of her other shot types just to um, show it off. Man, I am just having a devil of a time. And then the jerk birds. All of that. Well, 
found in your description that says Toho 10. So there's um, games? At the time this was released, there was considerably more than... Uh, there was like... 10 or 11 other games. Okay, I don't have the glitch active, but this should at least let me get some more damage before I die. Not much. And now hopefully I can take Aya down without... <sighs> Finally, I'm past Aya! I have no more lives, and that's okay, because amazingly, stage 4 is... Relatively easy. Or no, stage five. Stage five is relatively easy. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. Like, I'm, I've been on stage five for a few seconds and I've already gotten whoops, enough points to get an extra life. And then I run into a bullet, so that's lovely. Yep. Stage six should be the easiest one by far. Because with stage six, there are so many enemies dropping power items, power up items, that I can just bomb my way through and still have the uh, power level I need. Hello, Sane. She's the good girl of the series. A general impression I have is there isn't a safe spot on the screen, so it's not it's not like what you're looking for is where to take and run to to hide while all the bullets right. are flying around you. Um, while most... I did not... Mm. Okay, I'm still getting used to this controller, but I swear sometimes the um, detection of where, where it thinks I want to go is off horribly. Um, but yeah, most of the whoops, most of the uh, attack patterns are just shooting out. But there are a certain there are some bullets that are aimed towards your character, and this is the easiest bullet pattern in the game. Okay, final stage. Okay, fingers and toes crossed. Well, if I need, if I need good luck, then I hope there, there's like one big piece of RNG in this particular stage, and it it's basically are you getting through this particular spell card easily or not? But final boss shouldn't give me too much trouble. She's usually pretty kind. And hey, there's an extra life to get me through. Huzzah. Huzzah. Oop, and it's already gone. That's lovely. Oops. You know, Kona, I, I understand you feeling guilty about getting these extra lives, but you, you don't have to... Oh, shush you. Oh, she gave me the worst luck. Uh, Konako, please, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you are practicing. I, I am, yes. Now there's one other frame that, or one other phrase you have. Well, we'll see if that never happens before it actually happens. 
It usually doesn't. <sighs> That's a really hard one to get through. I, I am I am beating the final boss this time. No more deaths. No no more game overs. She's going down. I declare it. Oh, um. <laughs> Which isn't as bad as it sounds. Um, death bombing means you have uh, you use a bomb within a few frames of getting hit and dying. So you get the you just exploded sound but you're not actually dead. Well, Conan, you have to realize when I start using terms like RTA and strats and uh, death ports... No, I didn't! Then Darn you, game! After you game over, it defaults not to continue, but to go back to the main menu. Which means now I have to go through the game again. I have all that lovely points. You don't usually have the volume turned up on Twitch. I'm a little surprised. What? What killed me there? Okay, final chance for a break. And then we face Kanako. Who's actually being kind. Somewhat. Um, apparently I need more practice with Kanako. Okay, let's try this again, Kanako. Come on, go. I need you back over here. Yup. Oh, come on, controller. Yeah, still getting used to it. Yeah, when you don't have to worry about keeping your power level up, being able to bomb through that stage is just amazing. How did I not get hit there?
I swear I phased right through a bullet. <sighs> so close. Final phase. This is actually the easiest one. <laughs> I say as I immediately get hit. Whoops. I'll just take that death. Time! <laughs> Okay, I obviously need more practice. So, there are multiple endings, but they basically boil down to how many times did you restart? And if you needed, if you needed to restart at all. Um, if you do continue after game overing, uh, Marissa basically goes to talk with Reimu and doesn't remember entirely what happened when she went up the mountain. At which point, um, the stage four boss releases a newspaper with her miserable defeat in the, as, well, as the main article. Um, if you do manage to continue to beat the game without using a continue, Marissa builds a shrine and Kanako shows up at the shrine at the little uh, prayer box and just ridicules the poor quality of the of the box to uh, to Marissa at which point Marissa basically goes well fudge this and, and takes down the prayer box oh, the indeed in this game. So uh, I think I'll show off um, the other character in one of one of her attack patterns. So, this is Reimu. Reimu is slightly is a bit slower than Marissa, but she also has a smaller hitbox. Um, she also has a much um, the line that she has to cross in order to get her. Uh, her uh, items collected at the top of the screen is also significantly higher. She has to go up further on the screen in order to get her uh, her items collected. She also doesn't have the, that wonderful glitch, so um, this is how slow bosses are actually supposed to take. Um, Reimu's first shot pattern, though, uh, a, yeah. a good portion of her attacks actually home in on the enemy. Oh god, she's so slow. So, um, this is... We, we never actually got to see the uh, the first boss do anything on the Marissa playthrough, so this is what she actually does. That was... I'm also very, very bad at playing as Reimu. She is so slow! Wow. I sense much playing with, sense much playing with no. in your future. I do not like Reimu. It's sure she's got the smaller hitbox and the homing at projectiles. But because she is so slow, 
I'm used to playing as Marissa. Playing with Reimu, I feel like I'm traveling through molasses. Um, so, on the last life, the last time we fought this boss with uh, Reimu, I had half power, half total power. This time, right. full power, and she took almost just as long. So, while power level does have an effect, it's not a significant amount of damage change. Usually. I also really like this music. Oh, this reminds me. I was shocked to see something on sale on what? Steam. Do you remember Apache Games? Oh, Shower? yeah. Do you remember Rapport? Oh, yeah. It's it's on Steam now. I, it's on sale on Steam. Hmm. I guess whatever company. Well, let's see. Apache was originally shareware, and then I guess they became a business, and then the business got bought by somebody. And I don't know how many times the title must have changed hands. Beats me. Did not recognize the name of the company that had Raptor on. Huh. I did recognize the helmet and some of the graphical elements of the game, though. So. Cool. Uh, so I'm just going to show off uh, some of show off Marissa's other shot types. Uh, this is her type A which um, she has little uh, following thingies. If you focus, they stay in place. Um, using this is significantly more difficult. Because if you want to be able to uh, get the damage concentrated, you have to control your movements very specifically and know and know exactly when to uh, focus. And remember, if you're focusing, you're moving very, very slow. I believe Marissa moves slower focused than Remo does. Wow, I am just horrible at this game without... I've been using the glitch for too long. See? Cheaters never win. I swear I wasn't there. I'll give it one more go and then I'll show off uh, Marissa's other shot type. And then I'll go back to actively trying to do the speedrun.
Well, I'm going to take my uh, top of the hour break, Kona. Okay. I'll be back in a few. All right, Marissa, what's your... Is that actually a flamethrower? Oh my goodness, it is a flamethrower. This witch is insane. She brings a flamethrower into a Danmaku battle. What? Who shot that bullet? You missed flamethrowers. Okay. Let's actually use the glitch and let's let's get a, a one credit clear this time. Looks a lot smaller on my screen, doesn't it? I think that's because you have a much smaller screen. Well, that and when I'm streaming it, I'm streaming it at full full size for my stream. So yeah, this is you know normal length of of the mid boss. Now, do you have to play this with controller? Nope, you can play it with keyboard. But you prefer controller? I've been playing with controller for a while. I could play with keyboard, but it does mean I have to be up on the keyboard. That wasn't great, but...
That could have gone poorly. Like that. When you had the volume on Twitch turned up, could you hear the music? Yes, I could. Okay. What did you think of the music? I liked it. Yay. Well, it was nice visiting with you, but I better get back to the stream. Okay, fair enough. Welcome back. Oh, thank you so much. Nope, didn't, didn't miss much. much. Well, I mean, the oh. mid boss showed up and then flew off, and then we blew up her camo suit. Now, why she was in the camel suit? Yeah, she wanted to try her optical camouflage suit against the human. She's a little disappointed that we were able to, um, see her. But she left before you could explain that you were Oh no, human. totally human. After all, Marissa knows all the digits of pi. That clearly she's human. Well, let's see. All of the digits of pi are zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So. Back at stage four, so I do need to concentrate again. the wrong button! I hit the focus button, not the bomb button.
Ran into a bullet I didn't see. And that was a bullet I did see, but I didn't think I was low enough to hit it. Almost made it through that. Also, hello, Insomniosis. Yeah, that's why. Hello, Insomniosis. <sighs> Welcome to the tail end of uh, of the speed run. Don't worry, it's short enough. I can show you the speed run again. Making this so much harder on me. Grab all of the everything. Uh, more practicing for SGDQ 2020, but uh, yes, definitely practicing. My power level's a little too high for what's coming up. Which means I've been playing g playing well. That That's terrifying. Well, you have been playing. I have been playing. But no, if... And you've been oh, I've, I always enjoy this game. Even with all of the deaths. Well, I, I haven't quite uh, gotten into GDQ just yet, so... I'm just going to pop a bomb there. I need to find a good English patch for this game. Because the, uh, the banter between Marissa and the uh, bosses is just amazing. Uh, I think with the when she meets with Sané here... Whoops! I do not have enough power to get through this! I'm doing this legit! <laughs> Okay, fudge legit. Um, when Marissa meets Sane here, uh, Marissa's reaction is, uh, who are you? Oh, I'm the Shrine Maiden of the Mountain. Oh, uh, Shrine Maiden's a job then? Yeah, why did, what did you think Shrine Maiden meant? I thought it meant this other person. <laughs> And Sonia's reaction is basically, uh, what? <laughs> 
Sure, I dodge the hard stuff and I get hit by the easy stuff. Yeah, I'm not messing with all of those bullets. I'm just gonna shoot off that bomb so that my power level gets into range. One life. I've got one life for Kaneko. I can do that. No, Kaneko, get back over to the center. Please, please come up. Uh oh. I didn't move in time. I may be in trouble. Yep. Almost. I didn't game over, did I? I did not game over. <laughs> uh, no, I get the good ending. Uh, so, the uh, exchange between Marissa and Kaneko, the final boss, is basically Marissa chastises Kaneko about forcing people to have faith in her and Kaneko's reaction is well I'm a god I need faith I know that there's this other shrine so I was only trying to get faith from these people and Marissa basically says yeah um these people they asked me to stop you so um stop no please <laughs> and then Marissa goes ahead and beats her and so for whatever reason Marissa decides to build an offering box to Kaneko. Who then shows up and, and says, boy, that's absolutely, absolute crap. I mean, this is for a god. This is for someone you revere. Can you at least put some effort in, into it? And Marissa says, building this was a mistake and takes it down. So as for what all that actually accomplished, I have no idea. <sighs> well, it was about an hour and a half of content on your stream. And I completed the game how many times? Two, three times? Uh, about that. I, I think we can watch the uh, the credits program graphics and music zoom so you said that about the time this was released there was uh, actually about something like that yeah so how many are there now uh almost a Almost 20. And that's the credits. One guy made the game and he thanks you for playing. Wow, I only placed third on my, le on my own leaderboard. Well, you just have to play it again and, and uh, 
True. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of practice on... So, when, when you manage to beat the game on normal, hard, or lunatic mode without using a continue, you unlock extra mode. Extra mode is a single stage and a single boss and is absolutely brutal. Like, this is... No. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna get some practice in on it. Give me the power back. Woo. So I've never actually managed to, um, I think I've only ever managed to get to the mid boss, or get to the boss once. And with how brutal this is already being, I think you can tell this is not going to be easy. Wow. Well, if you need to be quiet and concentrate, we'll understand. Whee! Hi, Kanako. So the final boss is the mid boss on the extra stage, and oh no. And that was the furthest I've ever gotten. <laughs> I'll keep going. I'm, I'm going to keep going. Of course. Of course. They seem to be pretty stingy with power. Hmm. I'm not even sure what hit me that time. <sighs> There's really not anything that can be done to speed this up. You just gotta be able to go through it. <laughs> Seconds. So if you, um, if you have good usage of bombs, no game, I did not want to go back to the main menu. I wanted to keep practicing. Okay, well, I managed to get a little further on the mid-boss. I, I, I do intend to at least beat the mid-boss. Or at least try to. If I can get to the point where I can get to the mid, get to the uh, boss of the stage, that would be amazing.
Looks like a lot of fun and interesting things in your speed running future. Well, that's one way to put it. Oh no, do I have to find yep. another? Oh, these fairies don't actually have any collision hitbox. That's good to know. Hello, Conoco. That was an interesting uh, bullet pattern. It actually homed in on you. Is this one of those? I've never seen the game do that. Well, technically, but only because I've never gotten here, here before. Hooray for death bombs! And this is Suwako, who has the most epic music of all time. Oh, and she really likes frogs. You a jerk. It's not my fault. She threw the the bullets in a different direction. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. Suko, you're a jerk. I'll go one more time. So Thursday morning. So Thursday morning. I'm going to get to Suiko one more time, and then I'm going to call it good practice for tonight on this extra stage. Still getting used to your new controller. Yup. I swear, that bullet hit me before I actually ran it, backed into it. That one did not, though. I'm just 
just happy you're getting a lot of practice. Oh yeah, me too. Oh, you, you want to do Talos Project together? Can you do it co-op? No, I don't think you can. But we can uh, work on the puzzles together at least. Okay, I'm going to do some more of the speedrun practice here. Okay. Just tell me I can take off this cheerleader squirt. It, it's just too tight. Um. I, I thought I told you to get the pom poms, not the skirt. Oh shoot! Now I get the clarification. It's a wonder anyone actually sticks around to listen to us. I find it helpful knowing nobody listens to me. But don't you know? You're a crowd favorite. Isn't that right, crowd? And what might that be? Portal? No. Oh, um, yeah, I need to finish Monster Hunter proper. So unless you're willing to uh, sit through Monster Hunter with me, Oh, it'd be more than just a few streams. There are a lot of monsters to hunt. Oh, what was the name of the character with the backpack? Mouse? I get to be Mouse. You know, I would actually prefer having you as the hand as the monster hunter handler than the actual handler. Yeah, it kind of is. Um, in Iceborne, there's a sec there's a period of time where the handler disappears, and everyone's reaction is, "Can we keep the other handler?" <laughs> I mean, the the other handler's name is the serious handler, and people prefer the serious handler to your goofy handler. Probably because your goofy handler is an idiot who gets herself in trouble more often than not. Oh, they don't. They just call her the handler. Ah. 
Because she's the handler you have for most of the game. Now you can play Monster Hunter with mods, right? Can you? Yes. Should you? No. So a simple mod to mod out the uh, goofy handler is ill advised. Very. I am not keeping track of my power level all that well. I should have gotten that uh, point level up for beating the, uh, the mid-boss, not afterwards. I'm facing uh, the first couple of phases of Nitori legitimate here. It's too low. Dang it! Oh boy, if I manage to get past stage 4, I am going to be ecstatic. I am doing absolutely horribly all of a sudden on this. Speaking of stage 4... Well, some would say the problem is you're playing this on a day of the week that ends in the letter Y. I mean, can you believe I I can't get Kyle interested in trying to uh, showcase lunatic mode of uh, his favorite Toho game? Does he say why he's not interested? No. Not that I've been able to get out of him. Come on, joystick. I should have dodged that last one, but it just didn't... didn't move over. <laughs> Well, it's not going to be a one credit clear, but we can at least try to get uh, get a finished game out of this. That would be good. It would. Though I'm out of lives at this point.
to me that Douglas Adams described it best. Don't panic. Exactly. Oh, crud. That power level is too low. No, I've just been playing, like, crud. Stage 4 just... sucks. It is just an evil, evil stage. Almost all of the RNG comes on stage four. Um, a lot of the um, well, most of the enemies are based off of your position and your movements. The biggest thing, though, is Aya's um, attack, where she just rains bullets down, and you can't hit her. That's all RNG, and there is nothing you can do about it. Perhaps a well time death. Perhaps a well time death. Not that you want to be dying, mind you, but... How did that hit me? Um, these... I, I call them Doom Fairies. The ones that actually have quite a bit of life. Their bullet patterns are also f quite random. If you're lucky, they'll spend most of their time shooting behind them, and then you don't have to worry about it. Um, I believe all of these birds also just rain bullets down at random as well. Okay, Aya, uh, let's do this right. Hmm. That was awful. That was just a whole lot of you're not getting through. Oh yeah, I'm I'm gonna finish the uh, finish the game with an actual clear of the game. Hmm, come on. That moved over way too far, and I couldn't move back. There was a point in time when I could actually beat Momiji without needing to use a bomb. Well, we blame the controller. See, 
you need two controllers. You need a broken in one that take and use for actually getting high scores and whatnot, your speed runs, and then you need one that you can take a blame for quite poorly. Unfortunately, my broken in one actually broke. It, it has input lag now. I was just dancing around a bullet and I didn't even realize it. That's why I play Marissa. Alright, let's do this again, Aya. This time you're letting me through, right? Uh, that is way too much power. Okay. Yay! Finally passed Aya. And now I just have to make sure I don't do something stupid on stage 5. So I may be doomed. <laughs> I clipped a bullet. It's not what I need to be doing. You get the feeling Sane really likes stars. Yes, I do. That was the easiest bullet pattern I've ever gotten out of that Doom Fairy. Aren't you glad you continue yep. playing? Okay, burn off the extra bombs. And let's fight Sane. She's probably more of a Hexagon fan. Whoops. Wasn't paying attention to my power level. <sighs> and now, stage six. The final stage. Yeah, sure.
I will say this is the stage where you get more lives than anywhere else. For good reason? Uh, well, no. There's just so many enemies and they drop power and point items and it is just silly. Uh, Kaneko, I, I kind of need you back over to the center, please. Please. Thank you. She can just decide, no, I'm, I'm over here now. And there's really not much you can do about it. And now we have the final challenge. The final, the final challenge. Oh, about the heck? Yeah. Yeah, she's probably, probably more of a Hexa fan. Ending number 11. I don't know how there's... Oh, no, wait. There are six playable uh, bullet patterns, so makes sense having a, uh, up to 12 different endings. Um, you know, I think I'll share this just as a little bit of fun. So the game does allow you to save your um, playthrough, and then you can watch it back. Which is what this is. Um, this was actually one of my better, better practice runs. I, I okay, it was one of the first practice runs. I haven't been saving all of them. Um, but you know how I mentioned uh, the damage that I've been doing to the bosses is a glitch. Well, there's a second glitch in the game. Um, the replay doesn't work quite right. Uh, well, it's on stage four. There's a desync. See, what the game does is it records your button inputs and not anything else. Now, keep in mind, this was a saved replay of me actually clearing the game. So I beat this stage. Watch what happens. Should be probably right around any moment now. Once the desync happens, um, so yeah, looking pretty good so far. I'm surprised. Usually it desyncs by now.
Oh, there it goes. Or is it? I'm surprised. It usually desyncs long before now. Is it just a problem with controller input or with keyboard input and not controller? Nope. Nope, nope, it desynced. It, it is horribly desynced at this point. <laughs> Wow, this game has even more endings than Clock Tower. Oof. So, now um, I'm apparently trying to dodge things that aren't there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's a glitch, but it's a worthless glitch because it doesn't really do anything. Wow. So with that, I'm going to uh, call the stream on this wonderful music. This wonderfully upbeat and happy music. And that's that Star Chaser. Um, next week I'll probably get back to Legend of Ligaia, but I will be doing more stream practice on Wednesday nights, Thursday mornings, whenever I get off of work. Um, this is one of the two games that I intend to um, speedrun. The other game is a two to three hour run. Um, it, it also features, uh, l let me just call it 3D. <laughs> uh, if, if you're not used to it, it, it's pretty hard on the eyes. But, until next time, I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the week. See you, uh, well, whenever I see you. And, well, take care, everyone. <laughs>